The genuine EWT carbide cutter stays sharp for a very long time. This means you get a super fine cut and never spend time at the grinder sharpening your tools. But the cutters do eventually get dull. In today's easy wood turning tip, we're going to show you how to properly rotate and replace your cutters. Now typically, when you move your cutter slowly across your piece, you'll end up with a very smooth finish. If not, it's time to rotate your cutter to a sharp edge. The first step is cleaning out the hex socket and the screw. If you don't clean out the dust, the hex wrench won't seat properly and there's a risk you'll strip it out. We prefer to use a can of compressed air, but a paper clip or pin will work just as well. Next, we'll loosen the screw and rotate the cutter to a sharp edge. Finally, we need to tighten the screw back in place, but it's critical that we don't over tighten it. To do that, we always grip the short end of the hex wrench. Eventually, the entire cutter will be dull, and you'll need to replace it with a new one. The process is the same, except after loosening the screw, you completely remove the cutter. Use this opportunity to clean the toolbar really well with that canned air. If you're turning a lot of green wood, the moisture can cause the screws to seize up, so it's a good idea to add a bit of machine grease while you're at it. That's it! It's that easy! And now you get back to the fun stuff. And that's easy wood turning.